Welcome parents and friends to the Ram Middle School's online 6th to 7th grade parent orientation presentation. I am Dr. Michael Cerusi, the principal at Ram Middle School. This presentation will provide you with an overview of the programming and opportunities your child will have here at the middle school. If you are a first time parent of a middle schooler, you are in for a treat. As a father and stepfather of nine children, I can tell you firsthand that the changes your child will go through over the next couple of years, where they're always hungry, moody, sometimes video game addicted, maybe shopping addicted, these are all normal and hormonal, and that they will emerge eventually as young adults, ready to challenge the world and to create a future for themselves. So what exactly is a middle school? It is not simply a seventh, eighth grade configuration, but rather a philosophy that emphasizes student support and achievement. We are a bridge between the small, intimate setting of the elementary school and the largeness of the high school. We help students ease their way into adulthood by helping them become accustomed to managing their own time, participating in after-school activities, and doing homework for five core subjects and two unified arts classes. We teach the whole child, always being mindful that 12 to 14-year-olds are emotional and are going through the largest growth spurt since infancy. As happened to me with one of my children who entered seventh grade at five foot five and exited at six foot three. Middle schoolers are part child and part adult, often at the same time. They insist on independence while needing a tight structure. They are highly energetic and can be a real challenge for both parents and teachers. Unlike the old junior high models, middle schools reduce the largeness of the school by creating small learning communities or teams. Teams consist of about 90 students, which are like supportive families. Through the team structure, we attempt to teach your child organization skills, study skills, note-taking and time management skills that will help them in their future educational careers. We also help them develop their social skills and to learn how to adapt to the personalities of eight teachers every day. Of course, we hold them to rigorous standards in all of their subjects, but you will hear more about teaming later. I want to leave you with one last thought. Please remember that we cannot do all this alone. We are all partners in your child's academic and social growth and development. It must be stressed that we are all partners in helping your child achieve their full potential. And from experience, we know that success is based in part on good communication between students, you the parents, and your child's teachers. So please get involved, ask questions, come to parent meetings, volunteer, or simply email or call us when you have a concern. Success is also the result of high quality teaching, which results in long-term learning. Our teachers here at Ram Middle School are an awesome bunch. They make learning fun and interesting. They help kids discover rather than memorize. They connect meaning between subjects. They are truly preparing students to be lifelong learners and global citizens. On a very different note, we recognize that due to the pandemic, next year may look a little different for our seventh graders than in years past. Similar to this past spring, RAM will follow local, state, and national guidelines and recommendations when planning for the opening of the 2021 school year. Our plans will be developed this summer and shared with the RAM community. Your feedback and suggestions are always welcomed. I hope you enjoy the rest of this presentation. Thank you. Well, the assistant principal at Ram Middle School, and I am here to talk to you about some of the transition activities we have planned for you and your child as they enter Ram Middle School this fall. As you know, we have been schooling from home this spring, so some of our activities have changed, and we will continue to adapt as we go through the summer and the fall if need be. We would have had a road show this past March to go into the elementary schools, see the students, give them a PowerPoint with some information and let them ask some questions. Unfortunately, we were unable to do that, but we will be sending you a virtual PowerPoint about the roadshow. This way you and your child can look through it and get some of the information they might need to feel a little more comfortable as they enter Ram Middle School. We also would have had a parent orientation where you would have been able to come into the school and we could have met you, but again, unfortunately, that was unable to happen so we are preparing this PowerPoint for you to give you all the information you should need to get started as a Ram Middle School parent. This summer, the students will get their schedules probably around early to mid-August. Once they get their schedules and their team, 
we are hopeful that the school will be open for students to come in to walk their schedules and try out their lockers. We have specific days called walk around days that we are planning for Thursday, August 20th and Monday, August 24th, which we have specific days where our school counselors, sometimes some teachers are there, and we might even have some eighth graders as tour guides available on those two dates. This way, if students want to come in, have someone give them a tour of the school, or even someone that could answer some of their questions on the 20th and the 24th of August, those would be specific days we have that available to you. We're hopeful the school will be open more days and we will continue to communicate with you the days and times that students can come in to get familiar with the middle school. We are hopeful our first day of school will be Thursday, September 3rd. We know we will continue to communicate with you as we get further information from the state on opening guidelines. Um, but we are hopeful it'll be this date for everyone. Um, but again, we will communicate with you as the summer moves along if that changes in any way. Normally the first or second day of school, we have our team building day for the seventh graders. This is the day the students with their teams get to do some fun activities where they get to know one another, get to see some of their friends, hopefully make some new friends and get to know their teacher. We will continue to plan for this day being one of the first days of school. And again, that will be communicated to you throughout the summer on what day it might be and some of the activities we will have planned. In the first couple Fridays of school, we do a get acquainted dance for our seventh graders. This is an after school dance from 2.30 to 4.30. It is free for our seventh graders and we want all of them to attend if they would like. Um, this dance, they get to dance, do some fun activities and games with our DJ, and just really get to see some old friends, hopefully meet some new friends, and just have a great time getting to know one another as they become a RAM family. And finally, we will have an open house for parents in the fall, usually the third or fourth Thursday in September, where parents get to come in and they get to walk their child's schedule. So you get to kind of see a day in the life of your child at the middle school of transitioning through classes and meeting all their teachers and team members. We are very hopeful we can continue all of these transition activities because we do want to ease this process for you and your child as they enter the middle school. We are all here for you. If you have any questions or need anything, feel free to contact myself or Dr. Sarusi. We will continue to give you consistent communication throughout the summer as activities and things are updated and or may change and we look forward to seeing you and I look forward to meeting your child this fall at the middle school. Thank you. Hello incoming seventh grade parents and guardians. My name is Megan Gardner. I am one of the school counselors. I am here to talk to you about your children becoming more independent as they transition to middle school. As they're beginning to become more independent now, it's important to teach them to become good self-advocates. That doesn't mean you want to totally back off though. You do need to stay involved in their lives, but teach them the skills they will need to be responsible for themselves and their actions. Organization is key, but they also need to do their homework. For most middle schoolers, a simple, did you do your homework? Just won't do. Homework is an important practice of their skills. It's very important that they do their homework on time and that they do it well. This helps teach them about responsibility and deadlines. It's also important that they learn how to seek assistance. Now is the time for them to learn how to ask a teacher for extra help when needed or approach a teacher when they're confused about a particular assignment or grade. Please let them practice these important skills now that they will need to have for high school and beyond. Let's take a minute to talk about absences. When a middle school student is absent, they are expected to seek out their teachers to find out what they missed and ask for any help they may need. They are responsible for that makeup work and need to know that their teachers will not hunt them down. This is different from elementary school and something that we see many students struggling with. Please help us teach your children this important skill. Also, please help us with the absences. Obviously, there are legitimate times when a child cannot attend school. However, please avoid taking your child out of school for vacation during non-school vacation times. The pace of the middle school curriculum is quick and teachers have a lot of ground to cover. When a student is out for the direct instruction, they fall behind. For some students, this puts them at a very big disadvantage. Our school calendar is available on our website, so please reference this when planning your family trips. On a different note, there is a program I'd like to briefly introduce you to. This program is called Naviance. 
Naviance is an online program that helps us work with your children in many different ways. It also helps us with the state mandated tracking of goals and student success plans for each and every student. Each seventh grader will register for this program during a developmental guidance lesson in the fall and will learn how they can use this program for things like finding out their learning style and exploring future careers. You will hear more about Naviance as your child moves up to the high school, as it is also used for the college search and application process. Remember, our goal is to help each and every one of our students succeed here at Ram Middle School. For some children and parents, this will be easy and smooth. For others, it will be a bit more challenging. Please contact your child's school counselor if you need any assistance with this important goal. Thank you. We look forward to working with you and your children in the fall. Hello, I'm Julie Schiffer, the Red Team Leader. I would like to talk about some resources available to you as a parent. One resource you have is the team website, which includes general information and the weekly assignments. It also contains a link to the Unified Arts homepage. Each student is given an agenda book. This includes both the student handbook, which are policies for the middle school, and a calendar in which students write their assignments for the week. In many classes, teachers post the assignments in their classroom and students write them on the first day of the week. Please help to monitor assignments nightly and for the first quarter, sign the bottom of the agenda book. Attendance. If your child is going to be absent, there are a few ways to communicate this. On the RAM Middle School homepage, there is a link under the Parents tab titled Attendance Report Form. With this, an absence can be reported. Another method to report an absence is to call the school. If a call is made, it must be followed up with a note when the child returns to school. Either of these methods must be completed by 8.30 a.m. Parent Portal is also a great resource to monitor your child's progress. This shows a student's class schedule, grades, attendance, and report card. The information will be coming mid-September. And if during the year you have any questions, please feel free to contact your child's school counselor. Also, if you have any concerns or questions, please reach out to the teachers. We are all in this together and would like to help however we can. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kristen Lynch and I am the Goal Team Leader and Science Teacher. I'd like to talk to you about teams. What is a team? We use the middle school model at RAM, which means that students are placed on specific teams. The teams consist of an English teacher, reading teacher, math teacher, social studies teacher, science teacher, and support service teacher. Some of the main advantages of having teams are that the students become a part of a community within a community. All the students on the team have the same core teachers. Teachers on a team meet together one period a day, so they're able to coordinate long-term assignments as well as test dates. Teachers are able to integrate curriculum between the core subjects. Each team has a website that is available to parents and students. The website has important dates for upcoming events, a separate page for each teacher, and a homework page that is updated at the start of each week to include the homework for the week. Because teachers meet together every day and share the same students, teachers are able to brainstorm student issues and concerns. Parents are able to schedule parent meetings with core teachers during a common planning time to address any concerns they may have with their learner. Thank you. Hi, this is Heidi Byrne. I am the team leader for the Inquiry Academy. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about what Inquiry Academy is, if you don't know already. We are really a school within a school. Uh, we have seventh and eighth graders on our team and our team functions in much the same way as the other teams in the building do. One of the differences is that our students have one period of their day called genius hour. Uh, that is a time where they have some uh, freedom to explore and research and learn and present about um, any topic of their choosing. Uh, they get a lot of guidance about what's appropriate and um, the rigor of their research, what that needs to look like. Um, we've had students who have built their own electric guitars. We've had students research beekeeping. Um, they've researched mononucleosis. They've built models of things. Um, they've learned a skill. They've done some fundraising, all kinds of interesting things that they're learning about, and they share those with the team. We have a little bit of a flexible schedule. 
so that our math and science classes can work back to back and our science and our English and social studies classes can work back to back. Um, there is a lot more project based learning on our team. Um, and we definitely have an interdisciplinary focus. We are working with each other to make sure that what's happening in social studies ties in with what's happening in English and, and that math fits in there. Um, we found some really interesting connections along with science and some of our world languages and sometimes music comes into the picture. Um, one of our big things is there's a focus on independent learning and critical thinking and that we really um, ask our students to rise to that bar. Um, one of the things that's the same is that we address all the same common core standards that all the other teams do. Our students walk away with the same skills. We just get there in a slightly different way. And if you have any questions about Inquiry Academy in the future, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Heidi Byrne. Hi, my name is Amy Golis, and I'm the Purple Team Leader in eighth grade at Graham Middle School. What I would like to talk to you about today are what are called scientifically research-based interventions. The SRBI process is one that is used at Rand Middle School to help track all students, to identify strengths and areas of concern, and to help those students who might need extra help get the help that they need in order to successfully move on from seventh to eighth grade and from eighth to ninth. When your student begins at Rand Middle School, what they will see in the first couple of months are a series of universal screenings, benchmark assessments, and progress monitoring will begin in order to learn your child's strengths and to identify any areas that might be of concern to the team or to the school in general. These universal screenings and benchmarks might look like a writing task, a science lab, a skills assessment, or a reading test. As students progress through Graham Middle School, they may find themselves in need of tiered interventions. Each tier of intervention represents a different level of support that students may need in order to experience their best success. Tier one interventions are available to all students. And what you would typically see with tier one interventions is what you would expect to see in a classroom. Standard in-class interventions and supports like moving a seat so a student can better see the board or access support from the teacher, offers of additional help at lunch or after school, one-on-one -on -one support, checks for understanding, asking students to restate directions, all of those things that you would see in a typical daily classroom environment would qualify as a tier one intervention. If students do not respond to those tier one interventions and are still demonstrating areas of concern, the team might choose to move them up to a tier two intervention. And this is where students would find themselves in a targeted intervention with a smaller group of students. So if a student is experiencing trouble in math and does not respond to the typical offers of help or the typical strategies being used at tier one, you might find that your student is requested to join a class like Title Math, which would provide them with a smaller group environment, targeted one-on-one -on -one instruction, and the ability to focus in on the specific skills that need strengthening. These tiered interventions, though, can also apply to social, emotional, and behavioral concerns. So if your student were struggling socially in school, a movement up to a tier two intervention might be a request from a guidance counselor for your student to join a particular guidance run group. All of these things are designed to help your student grow academically, socially, emotionally, and behaviorally. Should students still not respond at the tier two level after four to six weeks, there are options that the team may explore. The options might be different tier two interventions. You might see just a shift to a different intervention at that same level, or you might see a movement up to a tier three intervention. Tier threes are highly individualized. This is typically where you go to a one-to-one -one support for your student in whatever area of concern that is remaining. So these are intensive supports designed to help your student really get to the core of what the concern is and how to move past it. Your child's team and guidance and administration will monitor any students receiving these supports bi-weekly for the success of the intervention or the need for additional support. So we do get together, we look at the list of students who might be getting higher tiered interventions, we talk about what's been successful, what hasn't been, and the decision to either have them remain at that tier or to have them move up or potentially if the interventions have been successful, to move them back down. 
you as a parent will receive communication about this. You'll receive communication just in general. If the team notices that there is an area of concern, you would know about it well before. And then what you might see is a official SRBI letter that would indicate that we want to move your student up to a tier two intervention. And so all that would be is that you would be providing your approval for a potential schedule change to add in an additional class or simply just as communication to let you know what's going on in your student's day-to-day -day life. And you would then continue to receive updates on the success or lack of effectiveness of any intervention that was put into place. Through this process, we hope to help your student successfully navigate seventh grade, transition to eighth grade, and then ultimately transition to the high school. The SRBI process helps us to do that, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have about it at any point. Thank you so much, and we look forward to meeting your student next year. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ram Middle School. I am Caitlin Morse, the middle school nurse. Today, I'm going to be going over a couple of the health requirements needed for your child to be able to attend middle school in the fall. The first requirement is the state immunization requirements that need to be met prior to entering seventh grade. If this deadline is changed due to the recent COVID-19 pandemic, we will be sure to let parents know as soon as possible. As you can see, the immunization requirements are written on the slide, which include a second vaccine against measles, two doses of the varicella vaccine or documentation of disease, an adolescent Tdap booster vaccine, and one dose of the meningococcal vaccine. If your student has a medical or religious exemption, this will also need to be handed in prior to the first day of school. The next requirement is the physical exam. The physical exam must be completed during the student's sixth or seventh grade school year, which would have to be dated between July 1st, 2019 to June 30th, 2021. Again, if this deadline is extended due to the pandemic, parents will be made aware as soon as possible. Any student that is participating in sports must have a physical less than 13 months old during the entire sports season. Registration for all sports will be done through Family ID, which the athletic director will give students and parents more information on. All physicals are able to be uploaded directly onto Family ID. Lastly, all health records at the elementary school will be sent directly to Ram Middle School. If you have any further questions, you can email me at caitlin.morse at ramschools.org. I look forward to meeting you. Hi, sixth grade parents. My name is Danielle Gray, a school counselor here at the middle school, and I would like to talk with you about the importance of after school involvement and extracurricular activities. From strengthening the mind to promoting better time management skills, Heightening self-esteem and increasing motivation, after-school activities can help students succeed far beyond just their academic accomplishments. Extracurricular activities allow students to pursue interests outside the standardized academic context and aid students in discovering interests they may have never explored before. These activities encourage students to widen their social circle, build solid relationship skills, become an active member of a community, and help develop the student as a whole. Here at Ram Middle School, we have a variety of after-school sports, clubs, and activities for students to choose from. Clubs are a great avenue to help the middle school student grow and become more confident, while also helping to embrace more independence. One of our most popular clubs is Ski and Snowboard Club. This club allows students of all levels and abilities to take part in a snow-filled adventure no matter what their skill level. From beginner skiers to the expert adventure seeker, Ski and Snowboard Club remains a favorite among the Ram community. Along with Ski and Snowboard Club, Ram Middle School offers a variety of after-school clubs, including Alternative Energy Race Team, Lego League, Drama Club, World Language Club, Student Council, and several others. Alongside clubs, we have a sport for every season. Tryout sports include boys and girls soccer in the fall, cheerleading and boys and girls basketball in the winter, and softball and baseball in the spring. Ram Middle School offers several sports that welcome all students without the need of a tryout. These include cross country in the fall, wrestling open to both males and females in the winter, and track and field in the spring. It is important to note there is a once per year pay to play fee associated with both after school clubs and sports. 
Once this fee has been paid, students are able to participate in as many clubs or sports as they'd like. You can access this information on our school website. If transportation after school is a concern, please know each town has a late bus Monday through Thursday. Students will have the ability each day to sign up and a pass will be issued for the late bus that day. While we highly suggest students become involved with an after school activity, academics must come first. The middle school offers a number of after school academic support programs to help students stay on track. These supports include after school help in math lab, writing lab, and our school study and homework program called PM Study. We also encourage our students to utilize their advisory block and intervention lab to seek out extra help from their teachers when needed. I would like to encourage you to ask your son or daughter to consider becoming involved with an after school activity. Studies have shown that students who become involved with their school and peers have a smoother transition into and throughout their adolescence. On behalf of all of our staff, we're excited to welcome your child to our school and get to know them as they transition to their middle school years. Hello, my name is Dee Dee Dantan. I am the AHM social worker at Ram Middle School. I'm located in the guidance department. I work closely with the guidance department, uh, the school counselors, other social worker, and psychologists. In guidance, we're able to do a lot of collaboration with staff through our team meetings that are held um, every day for each team, and guidance tries to attend them at least twice a week. We do our best to be proactive. Um, trying to identify students in need of support early on. Uh, we can offer short-term and long-term counseling supports. We can provide support weekly, every other week, or um, on consult or as needed. Homeschool communication is very important. Um, if there's anything going on, please reach out if you have a concern. Even if you're unsure if they need support, it's just great that we know what's going on so we can make sure to keep an eye on things. It's helpful to make us aware so we can look for any changes in behavior at school. We can offer support early on before the student may become overwhelmed. We can also monitor things if there is any family illnesses or stressors going on. Middle school is a time of transitions. So it can be very exciting, but it can also be very stressful. We're bringing three towns together. Friendships begin to change during this time. There's different teams. People may not end up together with the friends they had from elementary school, but they'll also make some new friends. Um, this is a time when students start dating. Uh, you'll see some social media challenges. Uh, the school schedule is a change from elementary to middle school with the change in classes from um, subject to subject. There's also a change in academic expectations. There's increased need for organizational skills and time management at the middle school. It could also be a student's first time trying out for a sport. Some things to look out for to identify if your child may be dealing with too much stress that we can offer support around are stomach aches, nausea, disruption in sleep schedule, impacting their attendance. We can talk with you and your child about what supports there are for them at school as well as in the community. Some of our students may be working with outside providers. We are happy to collaborate with everyone involved to ensure we provide the recommended support at school so they are successful. We can reinforce learned coping skills, assist with problem solving, and reinforce self-advocacy skills in the academic setting for their needs. It takes a village. We are excited to become part of that village. Get to know your child and help them grow throughout their journey at RAM. Thank you for watching our 6th to 7th grade orientation presentation. Should you ever have any questions, please feel free to contact the middle school office or our guidance office at 860-228-9423. Thank you.